Alrighty, so uh, it's been a while since I've used this uh, like Ragnarok Deanne, and I don't know what it is about this character specifically, but the fact that like her, you know, her passive and everything removes like buffs and debuffs to deal more damage, and I don't know, she's got she's got a really like fun kit to me, and I really enjoy using the unit. Unfortunately, you know, this game is pretty bad about you know phasing characters out of the meta very quickly unless they're just like stupid broken OP like you know festival units basically because not really a whole lot of characters can compare to those units so um, I'm gonna be messing around with her a little bit today uh, is there I wanted to ask you guys if there was any sort of units that you really like to use or want to use uh, but you kind of just can't because of the meta uh, so I guess leave me some suggestions down in the comments on who who you like and uh, you know who you want to use or whatever but uh, yeah if you haven't subscribed already feel free to subscribe I know I don't have the cam on or anything like that but it's really weird to record <laughs> where I'm at right now so until I get back to my house uh, it's gonna be a little bit like this um, so yeah let's hop into a match really quickly and see how it goes alrighty so we got our first match here it is <laughs> basically just a festival team so alrighty um, let's see what we can do here uh, got a little bit of extra ignite on Deanne all right understood I guess we will do another one <laughs> Be right back. Alrighty, so that forfeit was actually enough to bring me back up to Masters, which is kind of nice. So let's see what we can do here. We have Alilia on the team, and she is always a pretty big threat. So I could potentially go for... Yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll get some damage out on Melee. We already have the, the level 2 here for Gother. So 83k on him is not too bad. If I were to have ranked up, I could have attack sealed him with that Deanne card. And her other card is actually kind of nice too, because if you can rank it up, uh, you get more ultimate move gauge depending on what level it's on. Uh, so that one's kind of cool. I don't know. I think Deanne, I said in the beginning that like, you know, some units just can't be really used in the meta nowadays. I think Deanne is kind of on the cusp of still being okay to use uh, just because... You know, uh, <laughs> the character is, you know, she deals with buffs and debuffs, removing those to do more damage, and that's really nice right now because there's a lot of people in the in the meta at the moment who can put buffs on. You know, Melee gains buffs over time. Uh, if you run her with Keo, they get Ignite stacks put on them, which is, you know, pretty interesting as well. So I think what we're gonna do is, uh, let's rank up on Deanne. We'll try to get, or we'll use his first, so that way he has, or she has as many Ignites on as possible, and then we are going to use Deanne to hopefully clear that up. So a level three, boom, 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 co-destruction, 182. That's not as good as I was hoping it would be, but, ooh, yeah, 130K on the, or yeah, 130K is not <laughs> nearly as good as I was hoping it would be. Uh, we get the, the ult on Gother, but unfortunately it's just not soon enough. I'm interested to see how this goes. All right, well, <laughs> that uh, is unfortunate. Well, I guess we'll just have to move to the next one. All righty, what do we got? So we have a Bond team. I'm not super thrilled about going against a Bond team, especially with my main DPS being a green unit, but maybe we can do something here. Um, I think... I'm tempted to do the same thing as last time, but it really didn't do as much as I would want it to. The only thing that this team is kind of lacking is ult control. Obviously, Gother's ult can ult control, but because it's not green Gother, um, which I could run green Gother on this team and get a little bit more damage off and we could put dissolves on and stuff, but... I felt like, you know, in today's meta, with a lot of the characters being, you know, pure attack, it would be nice to attack seal, but maybe, maybe I should swap over to Red Gother, or uh, Green Gother, sorry. Alright. Um, we're not going to be able to go for anything super crazy here. I think I'll go ahead and get Gother's ult, and we can try and remove... Let's not go for the ult, actually. Let's use this and try to get rid of the buff that uh, Bon has put on. 
so that's really nice. We actually removed the attack seal, but we put it right back on with this card. Decent damage on him, though. I can't really complain too much about that. I really like Deanne's ultimate, but I feel like more often than not, I can't really get her ultimate unless I just get like a really lucky merge at the beginning of the game. Because if you if you pull an extra one of these cards, um, then you can actually use like rank up and then use both cards and it works out really, really well. But <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to do that this turn. So I think we'll just use these, get Gother's ultimate, see how it goes. Ooh, decent amount on the counter there. Pretty decent damage, though. I really can't complain with those just being, like, level 1 cards. And I'm still missing a couple of cosmetics for this character as well, so... Oh, Keo clogging up the hand here a little bit, unfortunately. Ult removal on him, which is pretty much to be expected. Get a merge there, which is, I guess, kind of nice. This is going to hurt. Uh, yeah. Oh, no. Okay, we barely survive on these two characters. Um, yeah, there's no way for me to attack seal without... That's fine. We'll attack seal and hit him so that way we remove that buff if possible. Yeah, because I think it removes buffs first and then it removes debuffs, which is actually kind of interesting. Um, if he puts up a stance, he'll cleanse, which could be an issue. We'll at least reset ultimate move gauges here, but we don't have another way to attack seal this time, so he's going to be able to attack and most likely kill me, which is just unfortunate. So, uh, let's go for just these, I guess. Not really a whole lot we can do here. The bond team is just, you know, the bond team, so... All right. Unfortunately, we activate the Holy Relic here. Not quite, actually. Ah, oh, so close, though. Yeah. That's a rip. That's a rip on our end. This is not going well. All righty, what do we got? Okay, so we've got a melee team. This is actually... Okay, well, he out-CCs us, so he gets to go first, which is probably going to be very bad. He's probably going to single target a whole lot on... Keo here, and I'm not running red Tarmiel on him, I'm running blue, and I don't remember, I think I was just doing that so I could get a little bit of extra CC, but I feel like if I was just going to go up against a big whale, I would probably get, <laughs> you know, out CC'd regardless, so maybe that was not the smartest play, but this could be okay-ish if we end up pulling some more Deanne cards. Or maybe if we can get some attack seal going. Um, this is not bad. Okay, so let's go for the upgrade. We'll get our ultimate from this. So he's going to have to rely on the one and Escanor to kill me here. I might actually kill uh, Melly. I do. Okay, so depending on who's in the back, this could be bad. If it's Bond coming down out of the back, which it's not, okay. It is King, which could still be kind of an issue. We can attack Seal, but Escanor is going to become immune next turn. I'm kind of hoping he didn't pull a King card if possible, so we don't have to deal with the shield. But I guess we'll just kind of have to see. He did pull a King card, of course. So now we have to deal with that. Okay. This is going to hurt. Oh my god, dude. Escanor is so dumb. That is ridiculous. Well, another one down the drain, I guess. Alrighty, so I swapped over to Green Gother and I put Red Tarmia Link on keo so we'll see how that goes i'm not expecting too much but uh let's go ahead and just do an upgrade on deanne we'll just get some extra damage off this should attack seal as well i think this might be a bot but he has the ludo with holy relic on or well i don't know if that's holy relic or not but i, I didn't even actually look to see if he's lowering any of us he is <laughs> He's not lowering any of us, so that is pretty much a wasted Ludo there. He cannot attack with King, so no shields, which is really good, because now we can get our ultimates. 
I think what we can do here is, well, unfortunately, he put the dissolve on, so we're not going to be able to do that, but that is okay. Um, I think we can use both of these cards to get rid of King. Actually, let me just use this card to get rid of King. We'll upgrade and use this card just in case, but hopefully that'll hit like Ludo preferably, not Gother. We shall see. And it went for Gother. Okay, well that doesn't really do us much good on Gother because he uses a buff card and a debuff card. So that kind of sucks, but I'm trying to, if possible, I don't want to use this card before using my ult because the ult actually, well, I'm, I'm going to have to use it. <laughs> He's just you know, putting debuffs on me, which is unfortunate. Or putting dissolves on me. Okay. We should be able to get rid of him pretty easily with these cards, I would imagine. So we're going to do something like this. Bam, bam. Oh my god. 429k damage on him is pretty nice. I really can't complain about that. Finally, a decent match where we're not getting absolutely, you know, destroyed. But then again, I'm pretty sure this is a bot, so kind of unfortunate. Like I said, it's just really annoying, like, dealing with the meta nowadays. Like, you know, it's just a whole bunch of, like, Trader Melee, King, or Bond teams. And, you know, it, they just, all of those teams have the utility they need or the damage output that they need to just absolutely beat through the rest of the meta, which is just super unfortunate. So it's really hard to just throw something like this together and actually win with it if it's not, you know, a bot, which is just, you know, that sucks. Having 90% of the roster pretty much limited or probably even like 95% of the roster limited because like they just, they're either too old and they've been power crept at that point or, you know, whatever the case may be. It just, it sucks. It really sucks to see because there's so many cool units in this game that I would love to use, but you really just can't use them. So, yeah. All right, let's just go for... I don't have any Gother cards, so I can't go for his ultimate. I think we'll just go for pure damage here with the green unit. Not anything crazy. We can't attack Seal because he's, he's got his immunity on because it's turn three for him. But just getting a little bit of damage out there. Not too bad, but, you know, could have been better. Finally got the ult, but it doesn't really matter at this point. It's kind of too late. But we'll use it. Either way, uh, I think we'll do one more since we had a forfeit earlier, and we'll see how that goes. So I will see you guys in the next match. Let's see the ult really quick. Merlin. Bam. 324. Not bad. Alrighty, last match here. We have a melee team with Gother on it. I really... I don't know. Go I feel like Gother's not a great unit to th just throw on the team, but hey, what do I know? I am an idiot, so... Let's go ahead and just throw these two cards at Escanor, try to get some decent damage off. Um, we'll attack seal him. Actually, we I think we'll kill him here. I think. Boom. Yeah, we kill Escanor here, which is really good. Shuts down a lot of single target buffs for uh, Melly there. He might end up drawing decent cards for Melly. I was thinking about going for Melly, but at the same time, you know, Melee has an AoE and a single target, and the Amplify doesn't really do much if you don't have the, you know, the extra buffs on. So he's going to get a buff here from the attack on Gother. A little bit of Amplify. Actually didn't do much. I, I'm i actually really regretting not having this Bond. This Bond, it, not super great, but is a pretty decent unit to have in the back. And I kind of wish I had him, so uh, very unfortunate there. Uh, we can get rid of his buffs here, which is actually really nice. Um, I can't attack seal though, but I can go for ultimate. So let's do that. Get a little bit of damage off if possible. I, it depends on his, his Gother's cards on whether or not we're going to be able to get our ult here. And he has potential to life steal quite a bit of damage back on that. So that's going to be very interesting. He, I'm assuming he does get rid of my ult here. Or, okay, he seals the ult, which is basically the same thing. I think I should have just put the... <laughs> I think I should have just went for the Dissolve card there. That was probably a big dumb play. I think we actually kill Melly, so not the worst thing in the world. I'm not as worried about 
who he's got the Tarmio. Oh no, the Tarmio Grace saved him so bad there. That is so dumb. Well, I think I've lost this last match, unfortunately. Oh, I don't know. It's just disappointing. Like I would love to use some some like off meta teams and stuff like that, but it just you, you can't really compete with that much damage on a single card. Like it really isn't viable. I don't know. It's just it sucks. But yeah, well, actually he didn't do nearly as much as I thought he was going to do there. <laughs> he went all melee, which is probably the better play. Either way, that's pretty much it from me. I don't know, kind of disappointing to be honest, but I I still like using the unit. She's actually a lot of fun, but I don't know. It just you can't use her all the time because, you know, you get crapped on. But either way, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.